Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to share with you two fantastic mods and they are free courtesy of author Downfall Nemesis. The first one is an overhaul of the dream home, which I think the author did a fantastic job making it so much better than what we got in the vanilla game. Now the second mod is one that the author just published recently, I think maybe a few days ago, that kind of takes the dream home. It makes a few, a little bit more changes, but it puts it in a different location, making it a more like a reclusive player home. And the name is actually Zuzma 4B Reclusive Player Home. So I want to show you guys both of them, give you guys a tour, and uh, maybe, you know, if you like it, you can go and get it for yourself. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the dream home overhaul. If you have it, then you know what it is. If you do not have it, then the location for the dream home is in the Olympus system and the planet is Nesoi and Olympus is just east or to the right of Alpha Centauri. The planet is Nesoi and you should be able to see your home, your name somewhere there. So let's start a little bit with the outside. Allow me to get to the top just to give you guys a overview first. Okay, so yeah, my ship is a little bit too big uh, for this area, but you do have a landing pad now at your dream home in the soil, uh, which is fantastic. It's something that we didn't have. I should have, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. I, sh I should have changed to a smaller ship so that you guys can see better. Um, but you know what, it's fine, it's fine. I'll show you guys everything, but anyways, you have a landing pad and it is on the surface. I, I think I like it. Uh, this is a good landing pad and uh, you do have your container, what is it, transfer type of thing, right? So you have a lot of kind of decorations and things that you can use, you know, containers and things like that. A lot of decorations, uh, but one thing that is really cool is that you now have this uh, garage for your rover. So I thought that this was like fantastic and you know the switch you can activate this and you can also you know just uh, close it you know just like a garage and it has enough space for two cars too bad that we cannot have two uh, at least not yet but once we do oh this is gonna be fantastic and a few more decorations it's just a scan boost at the top the author made sure to kind of put everything that you could need at your old post here so that was fantastic uh also probably you guys already seen it but you've seen those security robots that came with the mod nothing here is something that i had to add i actually didn't add anything everything that you see in this video about this house is actually included from the mod and uh, you see another robot here just patrolling and, and whatever this is, uh, that also comes in here. So you have this kind of a small area, a small building here that uh, you can have access to the shipbuilder console. So you have that right outside your landing pad, which is fantastic. Then you also have your mission boards, the bounty thingies, and you have a trade authority as well. And very nicely decorated. You have a very nice bathroom here, you know, very nice, very modern looking. And I like the details on the wall, kind of like a, a moisture kind of, you know, going through the paint or something. So that's a nice attention to detail. And by the way, you also have yeah. crew members right. here. Sometimes they're eating, sometimes they're walking around. And again, that is part of the mod. So you don't feel like, uh, you know, just, just by yourself alone or anything like that some storage space here again as well you know a lot of places the walls looks fine but then you have this kind of area where there's looks like some humid moist type of thing happening and let's say you also have those robots just cleaning or, or i don't know what else they do but just going around so very nicely decorated you have a second floor and like i was saying before you know you have companions uh, additionals right. technicians that just stay here and do things so you have a usable navigation console as well a lot of cool stuff and this is just a balcony and as you can see another robot and stairs and my biggest ship 
So that is this building. There's another building across. So let's go see what's in there. It is the building that I was at the top just to show you guys kind of the whole thing. Uh, we have some stairs. Let's go up. And this looks like a, a workshop. So you have all your workbenches, everything that you need. And the workbenches, I think, are slightly different, right? Like a, this, uh, this space workbench, this is not the standard one. This one looks way cooler. This one is much nicer. So you have that. The pharmaceutical, the research station, those ones, they look the same. And the kitchen, the cooking station looks the same as well. So I think the other benches, they kind of look very much the same. Uh, I think this is the weapon one. So the weapon bench and the space suit bench, those are different. And uh, they look much better, I gotta tell you. They, much, they look very nice. And I think in here is another bathroom. Right there, this is another bathroom with a shower. So it's pretty cool. And this is basically the, the area for your crew members to sleep. So this is basically their area. Very nice. I might put some dividers in between each of those beds, you know, just for privacy. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of like a like an orgy happening or something like that. So I might do that. And uh, not, not, not that it's a bad thing. Not that it's a bad thing, of course. And, oh, by the way, so we're going now to our home, right? And get this, you have security. And, and again, this came with the mod. So these are not people that are either. Why, why is it twitching? Oh, uh, anyway, but yeah, so you have your own personal security. And as you can see, there's a turret uh, installed here at the top, right? So that's another security. And we have now the dream home. The, it's the standard dream home, but fully decorated and also with some uh, major changes as well. Okay. So you have another Hello. security right outside. And uh, uh, I think the outside, I, I cannot remember if the outside is exactly the same or not, actually. But anyway, so let's go in. And one thing that I first noticed about the dream home is that you now have windows. Windows that actually open, that work because the standard... Uh, the vanilla dream home that we got, it was just like all closed. Everything was closed and you couldn't open them. It was like a shoe box. So, so this is fantastic. You also have a master control terminal. And this, what allows you to do is, let's say that you want to remove some of the furnitures that you don't want to, you can just disable the furniture, the decoration by each individual location. So the, the vault, the storage, the workshop, right? You have different from the basement, ground floor, first floor, and you also have options to change the mannequins if you want to switch them to male, uh, all the mannequins at the vault, at the bedroom. So a lot of options for you to change. Uh, exterior options, I think you can also disable all the exterior additions if you, I don't know why would you want to do that, but you have the option, you can disable the radar, you know, remove any of the things that you have outside and you can do it as well here. So turrets, you can disable those as well. Uh, there's also administration, so you can dismiss the guards, dismiss the robots or, you know, the companions. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disable anything here. I think uh, what has been done is fantastic and I just kind of really like it the way it is. So I'm going to take you guys to see just the how it is the how it is furnished by the way you have the vault key card here on the counter don't forget to take it and you have the mortgage info the foreclosure info by the way i paid the credits for the dream home the trade uh pay the mortgage and i never got the key to unlock this place uh if it wasn't for this mod i i wouldn't have access to this house still so anyway but as you can see, you have this area that was added. I like it, kind of like a mini library, right? Fantastic. And this place is very nicely decorated. I really like that this space here was turned into a bar. I think it was a fantastic call. This just looks really, really nice. And you have more areas there. You can, I guess, decorate, put things inside. It's a display case, so you can put whatever you want inside. And again, all the blinds, you can just 
close them or leave them open so i think every window so far i think has one of those uh the bathroom let's take a look uh, this one i think this one looks almost the same it's just a few decorations here and there well but it's a bathroom right you don't need a lot and let's go to the second floor so we have like a loft area i like this this is pretty nice i think the standard home i don't remember but i think there was a open space or something like that and another bathroom and let's go in here i think this is the balcony oh no the gym okay so you have a gym here check that out right no pain no gain yay all right all right let's go to the next one the next room i think oh that's the balcony so this is probably the bedroom no not the bedroom an office okay there you have it an office you have your own office you can decorate it and oh what is this a terminal so i think oh this is i guess messages from the author very nice very very thoughtful i like that very thoughtful i mean it's fantastic and uh, oh you also have to change log and things like that but you know it's pretty cool nice attention to detail fantastic and what is this oh there's a safe key card so i guess for the safe down there so don't forget to take that as well right so that you can now open the safe all right so there is that very nice you can view outside this is i think this is the back i think and uh, okay so that is that is there another oh i think the bedroom is here right yeah this is the bedroom so you have a bedroom here and you have two mannequins if you want to put your armor there and very nicely decorated let me turn out the flashlight hopefully you guys can see better with the flashlight i i was told that the default flashlight was too blinding so i downloaded a mod for the flashlight so hopefully this is not too blinding for you guys uh watching the video and all right let's go to the outside I think the outside is still the same uh maybe some decorations the table i think is different yeah a few changes in decoration but the outside very beautiful very nice and yeah 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 all right so let me now take you guys to another uh, to the basement actually which is one of the major changes major additions that the author did and oh by the way i got the don't forget to grab the key card that was there and you can go in now to your basement uh, because there's a vault below that you're gonna need an access card so look at this this is this is fantastic this is this is like a, your own man cave so we're gonna go into the vault later let's go take a look at the workshop so you have all your uh workbenches again you know all everything available uh, i think in this one is all the default ones so the warp the weapon one and the space one was not changed like the other place but yeah you got everything that you need here let's go to the vault and i like this animation you put the id card activate there is actually an id card going in the color changes and boom that is a big door and look at this right like a secret agent uh kind of hideout type of thing this is this is fantastic you have the navigation panel you have a lot of other things the master control is again here as well so if you want to access uh this location here you can do it uh one time i disabled the furniture here and i forgot uh, i was like ah oh, how do i get the master control back and after 10 minutes i remember that it is upstairs as well so yeah if that happens to you you know uh yeah there and yeah this is fantastic there's another door i think this is just a secret area with vaults and you know storage and things like that for contraband or whatever and i like that there is a <laughs> there's a turret in here as well and uh, you have a bunch of saves and that's your safe key so you grab it and now you can just kind of open them you know and you can put things inside etc etc so yeah there you have it so this is a fantastic i think it is a fantastic mod if you got the the dream home trade and you were a little bit disappointed like i was my favorite part of these i mean aside that i like kind of pretty much everything are the security cards and the garage i think those are probably you know if i had to pick two things man those are the two that i was really surprised 
and I thought, wow, that is that was thoughtful. So there you have it. So this is a fantastic mod. Okay, so let me now take you guys to the other location. For the other mod, the recursive version, once you install the mod and you land anywhere you go inside the game, a pop-up quest will show up so that it will take you to the location. And just in case, it is here in Zuzma. So it is here kind of north of Crix, northeast of Crix, and about uh, Cerebrae here, Zuzma. So it is Zuzma 4B. And once you click on that, you're going to see the reclusive home. But anyway, don't worry, just follow the step and it will just take you directly there. And when you show up here, there's going to be a, a little bit of gunfight. And you're going to see a lot of ecliptics. There is also a garage here. It's not as fancy as the other one. And uh, I think it's larger than the other one, but it has no columns in the middle, which is too bad because I'm not good at parking. And yeah. So you have all of that and then you also have, you know, those kind of additional buildings and you have one building here at the base, that tower inside does nothing, it's all empty and uh, you have some decorations here like a power generator or so things like that and a lot of the starborn kind of statues and things like that so a lot of floating, uh, floating rocks and things like that and uh, once you go in here, in this building, so you do have airlocks here. The first time when you come into this building, you're going to have ecliptics, so you're going to have to fight them. But after you fight them and uh, you, you go to your master control center, you can clear all the bodies, all the stuff. And once you do that, now this is going to show up. So the trade authority is going to show up. The shipbuilding control is going to show up and also all the terminals for the mission boards they are going to show up. I'll show you later how to do it. It's very simple in the options menu, but this is this is what you get. So this is, I guess, an area for crew members, I guess, if you have, if you want to assign a few here. So this is a place for them, you know, beds, cooking and bathroom and all of that stuff. So there you have it. So that is this area. Uh, another difference between this and the dream home location is like there is not a clear pathway that goes up to the house. Uh, I, I looked for it and, and there wasn't one. So you're just going to have to use your boost pack and uh, boost yourself all the way up basically to there. Like unless unless I'm missing something. Uh, but yeah, this is how you go up. And the first time you come up here, there's going to be again ecliptics. There were three of them at the top, so you're gonna have to shoot them, kill them, and uh, you can loot their bodies. I, I didn't get anything cool from them, so hopefully, you guys maybe have a better luck. And outside here, you just yeah, it's just a lot of floating things. And uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that when you show up here, there's going to be a spaceship at the at the bottom in the landing pad that belongs to the ecliptics you cannot take it unfortunately so yeah just in case anybody's wondering when you see that ship and uh, i try to take it but it is unfortunately inaccessible and uh, before i go in i wanted to show you guys kind of a big overview of this location right so you have your landing pad you got your ship and you have that garage area a little building structure the tower over there so there's kind of, I guess you can call it kind of like a gate. No, it's not a gate, but I guess a bridge, uh, a watch bridge, I guess. And then over there you have your house. So I just kind of, just a quick view so you guys know what it is. I also see another ship there, an enemy ship. I didn't bother to see if you can take it or not. Um, if you guys, I don't know if you guys will have that or not. But you guys can check it out and let me know if that is a stealable ship or not. What a beautiful view right now, by the way, right? Look at the planet. Look at this view. Let me just stay here for a little bit here at the top and just allow you guys to have... Uh, by the way, yeah, there's a road there that goes to the bottom, but that's it. Uh, wow, that is, that is quite a nice view. I'm going to take a picture of that if you guys don't mind. 
all right so we can go inside the house now and the first big change here is the door right you kind of have a big massive door here in fact you have three doors like you have this door <laughs> you come in here there is another door and, and actually this door is open but yeah this is another door <laughs> that's a lot of doors uh, anyway so there's that and now you also have this kind of enclosed uh, greenhouse type of thing so yeah you have these two enclosed area greenhouses because we are in a harsh environment so yeah now the inside of this house is pretty much i think identical as the dream home so the blinds you know everything opens everything closes and once you come in you will also find the vault key here in the counter and just to show you guys really quick but everything's the same there's only one thing that is different and it is on the second floor so i'm going to take you there so you know everything up to here everything's the same but um, on the previous one right the gym and that was it it ends but now the gym will take you to this kind of bar area outside which i think this used to be the balcony but because this is a harsh environment and you just cannot have a balcony so this became a closed area instead with a bar and, and, a, and a jacuzzi a pool so beautiful beautiful attention to detail from this author i think you know it's just it's just great and this is really fantastic if you're looking for something like a, a reclusive uh, layer you know type of thing you will find it here so the rest is very much the same the bedroom and also the the office and again if you go into the computer you will find a message from the author as well and or, or again there's also going to be a car key card there for you to grab to open the vault so all of that is very much the same and now what i'm going to show you one last thing is the terminal because the terminal does have one thing uh one option that is different from the dream home that we had so when you go in there is this place that you can go to administration and you can purchase robots i think that will bring uh, robots if you want i don't know what this does remove outposts build receipts or recipes uh, i don't know what that what that does and there is an option that allows you to clean up all the enemies or whatever remnants of fights so you click on that and that will remove all the bodies uh, out of the area as well as give you all the terminals in that building outside so yeah that is it so it's just a quick video just showcasing these two mods that i think are really really fantastic two thumbs up from my part at least thank you very much to down for nemesis and uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoy them as well and again if you want to get them it is available at the creations they're also available for xbox although i don't have an xbox to try it so i don't know if you know everything is exactly exactly the same or not so there you have it just a quick video and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe help me support my channel other than that thank you all for watching enjoy the game have fun and i'll see you all in the next video